Hey y'all, in today's video, I will be installing Outre Perfect Hairline in the style Imani and I got it in the color DRFF2 slash Vanilla Mocha. Here's how the unit looks straight out of the package before I apply my lace tint on it and this unit is a 13 by 4 lace front wig. I wear a size medium in my wig caps and I feel like the wig fit perfectly on my head. First thing I usually do is cut the ear tabs off on each side of the lace. After that, I like to cut my lace into three sections. Then I'm gonna go in starting with that middle section and spray a layer of that Eben Firm Hold Spray to lay my lace down. I'm using my blow dryer on the medium heat setting to spray the adhesive spray and make sure it's tacky enough. Then I'm gonna go in and lay my lace down right on top of where I applied that spray. Now I'm going to go in with my elastic band and I'm also going to go in with my blow dryer on the hottest heat setting and I'm going to just blow dry right on top of that elastic band just to get that melted lace look. And I do this process for about 5 to 10 minutes max. Now it's time to cut the lace. I'm cutting the lace in a zigzag motion and I like to do this because it gives the lace more of a natural lace type of look. As you can see, the lace did not fully glue down, so I'm going to go back in with my even firm hold spray and I'm just going to relay the areas that did not fully glue down. After making sure that the lace is glued down and dried, I'm going to go in with my Ruby Kisses Cream Foundation in the color Level 15. I'm going to use the darkest shade to mesh the lace with my skin tone. When it comes to my baby hairs, I like to pull out only a thin layer of baby hairs. And when I do pull my baby hairs out, I curve it in a way so that I can have that illusion of like a small little widow's peak. I'm 
I'm gonna use my tweezers and I'm gonna pluck my baby hairs until the baby hair is more on the thinner side. back in with the Ruby Kisses Cream Foundation and I'm just going to rub that foundation in the areas that I just plucked because when I pluck it makes the lace a little lighter. To style my baby hairs I'm going in with the Got To Be Gel and the Black Tube. synthetic wig units I feel like the baby hairs are a little bit more stubborn so I like to go in with my blow dryer to keep the baby hairs in place and make sure they are fully dried. my blow dryer on the hottest heat setting in a regular brush and I'm just flattening the top of this wig however with this specific wig because it has like a light yakky type of texture to it I am not blow drying the front of this wig I want to keep that volume so I'm not touching the front part of this wig it's really just the back area and I'm using the LA girl pro concealer and the color fawn to enhance my parting space now it's time to brush these curls out and really see how this wig is really styled. And I'm using a vent brush to brush my curls out. I just feel like when it comes to a synthetic wig, the vent brush is always better. I also have this brush linked in my Amazon storefront, which is linked in my description box. When it comes to synthetic wigs, I like to brush from the bottom and then work my way up to the top, just so that I don't run into any knots or tangles while I'm brushing through it. And the hair on the brush is not the wig shedding that bad, it's really just from when I pluck the hair and now I'm just brushing it out. So now that the wig is installed and brushed out, now I'm just playing with the curls and seeing how I want the hair to fall in my face. I decided to go back in and blow dry and brush the top of this wig again just so that it can be a little bit more flatter but I did not touch the front of this wig. So 
So here is the final look of this wig and yeah, I really do love this wig. I'm not too big on short units, but this short unit is definitely giving grown, it's giving sexy, date night. But I also feel like this unit is giving 70s in a way, I don't know. I don't know if it's because of the volume and the curls, but it's definitely giving off a certain type of vibe and I'm really here for that vibe. Here's how the back of the unit look. You can tell it has a light yakky texture to it. And I love that it's nice and full and it doesn't have any gaps in it. I do love the color on this unit. I was really excited to try the vanilla mocha color. But I also feel like the black will be so fire on this unit as well. Just imagine this unit in black and jet black like it would be chef's kiss. Overall, I don't have any complaints about this wig. I love almost everything about it and I would definitely try this wig again. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for my next video.